This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief. And good morning, everybody. I'm Chris Tatum with your NBC Region 33 News Brief for this Friday morning. New information this morning in the shooting death of a local police chief's son. Police arrested the teen's cousin, 28-year-old Antonio Dewey. Now, they expect to eventually charge Dewey with manslaughter. They say Wednesday night, 17-year-old Jake Williams Jr. was visiting Dewey at his home on West 2nd Street in Leland. Somehow, a gun discharged and that bullet struck Williams in the chest. Police do believe the shooting was an accident. When we talk about accident shootings, there are charges that uh, could follow with that as well. Williams is the son of Hollandale Police Chief Jake Williams Sr. Well, Mississippi gun owners are no doubt celebrating some big changes to gun laws this week. As of yesterday, actually as of Wednesday, uh, gun owners no longer need a permit to carry guns in purses or briefcases. The new law also lowers the fees to get a concealed carry permit from $100 down to $80 and the fee for renewing a permit from $50 bucks down to $40. A separate gun law went into effect earlier this year that lets honorably retired law enforcement and corrections officers own guns without any permit. Well, here's an important thing you need to know about before you plan your 4th of July festivities. Greenville's Warfield Park will not be open this weekend. Park leaders recently closed it because of the rising Mississippi River. They expect the river to crest above flood stage by next Wednesday. It's already at 47 feet, just one foot below flood stage. Park leaders don't yet know when they'll reopen that park. And in Jackson last night, actually Wednesday night, uh, folks uh, met for a prayer vigil outside the governor's mansion. They met not only to pray, but to remember the victims of that South Carolina church massacre and demand change of the uh, Mississippi flag. Amen. Amen. The Southern Ladies Christian Leadership the Conference, first led by Dr. Martin Luther King, is joining a fight I over the state flag. Just a what if Dr. King had had a referendum? What if Dr. King had taken it a vote? You wouldn't have these fine elected black officials in your state house today had he taken it to a vote. No, we're going to take it to the governor, to the people. Whatever it takes, we're going to fill up the jails. We're going to demonstrate. Whatever it takes nonviolently, we're going to bring attention to it. Wednesday, the SCLC named a new state director. Now they say they plan to pressure Governor Phil Bryant to remove the Confederate battle emblem from the state flag. Back in 2001, voters decided by a 65% margin to keep the state flag the way it is. Brian says any other approach to change it would be wrong. And now you have a group that says we ought to let the people vote as to how the legislature should spend education money. This is a WNBD NBC 33 news brief.